What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. We have a very exciting question on the board that we're going to be solving. And it says find the value of x given that x plus the square root of negative x is equal to 3 over 16. Well, this looks a bit scary because of the negative x inside of a square root. But don't worry, there's a trick to solve this question that will make it as easy as possible. And what is that trick? We're going to be applying substitution. We'll say let u be equal to the scary part, which is the square root of negative x. Now to get rid of this square root, we have to square both sides. So u squared will be equal to the square root of negative x squared. Now we see that this square cancels out the square root so that we have u squared to be equal to negative x. But let's make it simpler. When we multiply both sides by negative, we see that we have negative u squared to be equal to positive x. That is it. Now, this is what we're going to be substituting into our original equation. Now we have x, so our x is negative u squared, so I'll be writing negative u squared there plus now we have the square root of negative x the scary part i'm going to be replacing that with u so this is u this is equal to 3 over 16. just like me many of you don't like fraction so we're going to be eliminating the fraction by multiplying both sides by 16. so i'll multiply the left hand side by 16. so this is squared plus u equal to 16 times 3 over 16. Now we're going to be distributing this 16 into the bracket. So we have 16 times negative u squared is negative 16 u squared. Now plus 16 times u is 16 u. This is equal to, now look at how the fraction disappears. 16 can cancel 16 so that we have 3 remaining. That is it. Now let's move this three to the left hand side so that we have negative 16u squared plus 16u. As three crosses to the left, it becomes negative three. This is equal to zero. Now I don't like this negative. So in order to remove this negative from what we have here, I'll have to divide through by negative one. So I'll divide this by negative one, divide by negative one, divide by negative one, divide by negative one. Now you see that this negative will cancel out. So leaving 16u squared, when 16u divides negative one, we'll get negative 16u. And when negative three divides negative one, we have positive three equal to, well, zero divides anything remains unchanged. That is it. So we have a nice quadratic equation. Good thing is this quadratic equation can be factorized. So I'll take 16, multiplied by 3 and I'll have 48. So what are the factors of 48? Now we're going to be using negative 4 times negative 12. Why? Because your addition gives negative 16. That is it. Now let's go there. So we have 16u squared. Now I'll rewrite this as a sum of this. So negative 4u and negative 12u gives negative 16u and then plus 3 equal to 0. Now notice that from the first two terms, 4u is common, so we can factor out 4u. Now let's divide. 16u squared divided by 4u is 4u minus 4u divided by 4u is 1. Now we have negative here, so let's put it there. Now 12u and 3, 3 is common. Now open up a brackets. Now I'm going to Auto copy or copy and paste what I have here inside of this bracket. So we have 4u minus 1, and this is equal to 0. That is it. Now we have 4u minus 1 common, so we can factor that out and then open another bracket. Now what remains here is 4u, so 4u. Now what remains here is minus 3, minus 3 equal to zero so we have two cases we have 4u minus 1 to be equal to zero or we have 4u minus 3 to be equal to zero now let's solve for u from these two cases 
Now, from the first case, we move negative 1 to the right, so we have 4u to be equal to, as negative 1 crosses, it becomes positive 1. To get value of u, we just have to divide both sides by 4. Now, 4 cancels out, leaving u to be equal to 1 all over 4. Now, from this other case, we move negative 3 to the right, so that we have 4u to be equal to 3. Now, divide both sides by 4 to get the value of u. 4 cancels out, leaving u to be equal to 3 all over 4. Now, remember, we're looking for the value of x. And from our given substitution, we said u is equal to the square root of negative x. Remember? That is it. Now, let's try with our first case. When u is 1 over 4, so we're going to put that there. So 1 over 4 is equal to the square root of negative x. That is for this. Now, let's use this as well. So this is when u is 3 over 4. So let's put it there. 3 over 4 is equal to the square root of negative x. Now, let's solve here first. Now, we are to square both sides in order to remove the square root. Now, we're going to distribute this square on the numerator and the denominator. That is it. And what happens here? The square cancels out the square root, leaving behind negative x. The same thing happens here. We square both sides to remove the square root. Now, distribute the square on the numerator and the denominator. This is equal to, now the square cancels out the square root, leaving negative x. Now, 1 squared is 1 all over 4 squared is 16. This is equal to negative x. But we're looking for x. So in order to get x, multiply both sides by negative. So multiply left by negative, multiply right by negative, and this negative disappears. So we get x from here to be negative, six, negative 1 over 16. That is it. Now what about here? 3 squared is 9, all over 4 squared is 16. This is equal to negative x. Now, we're looking for x, so we have to multiply both sides by negative. So I multiply the left-hand side by negative, and when I multiply the right-hand side by negative, this negative disappears. So the value of x from here is negative 9 all over 16. Now let's check if our answer is actually correct. So let's check. Our x, we're going to be using this one first. Our x is negative 1 over 16 plus, now the square root of x, this is negative x, so this is negative x is negative 1 over 16, right? That is it. Now we'll check if we're going to have 3 over 16. So this will be negative 1 over 16 plus, now this negative times this negative makes this positive, so we have positive value here inside the inside the square root. Now the square root of 1 over 16 is 1 all over 4. Now let's take LCM. LCM is 16. So 16 divided by 16 is 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Plus 16 divided by 4 is 4 times 1 is 4. And this will give negative 1 plus 4 is 3 all over 16. So this checks out. Now let's see the other one. This is negative 9 over 16. That's for x, negative 9 over 16, plus the square root of negative x. That is negative x. x is negative 9 over 16. Now, this becomes negative 9 over 16 plus negative times negative makes positive. So we're having positive here inside of the square root. And the square root of 9 over 16 is 3 all over 4. Now let's take the LCM. LCM between 16 and 4 is 16. 16 divided by 16 is 1 times negative 9 is negative 9. Plus 16 divided by 4 is 4 times 3, that is 12. Now let's add up. Negative 9 plus 12 is 3 all over 16. So this also checks out. So the two values of x we've got are correct. Well, Feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.